How's it going everyone? Unretired here, and today I'm just going to be doing a quick first impressions video of a game called Exoplanet. Now Exoplanet is an early access game. Uh, it's recently been released on Steam. Uh, it is considered a sci-fi action RPG. Now I saw this game on Kickstarter quite a while back. Uh, unfortunately I didn't back it, but um, developers have been kind enough to give me a key so I can uh, review the game for them and give them some, some gameplay and whatnot. Uh, so this is a sponsored video uh, per se. Uh, so just get out of the way. Uh, so yeah, the game was kickstarted and got about 67,000 which is was above their, um, their, their goal I would have to say. And it, like every kind of kickstarter they, they have uh, backer goals, um, you know, you get just gonna say it like that, so you know, like a reach five cents and you get a piece of butter, and it's a bad example, but it's the kind of stuff like that, right? The, the 60,000 build your own ship, which is one of the goals uh, of the game. So, right now, we are in the planet Catharsis, and as you can see, um, we have just crash landed, and we're just gonna have a little bit of um, gameplay here just to show here, uh, what it is. And Q is for scanning, so it just shows you what you have. So we're picking up mechanical scraps. And we have medkit, makeshift, victory knife. I'm sure if you press I'm sure if you press I you can Okay, you can move the purpose. <laughs> Alright, perfect. So you can do page up, page down. Um, v is kind of like to, you know, show how you where you are. You can go right, left, mid, uh, as you can see. And the environment looks quite good. Um, I mean, graphics-wise, it's not super, super great. Uh, although it is an early access, so I would have to say that's quite normal. Um, you know, you start off like they have these little tips and whatnot. Um, so let's try to beat this guy here. Let's see how they let's just show you the gameplay. So, so there's a there's a lag time and oh my goodness. Hey, look at that. Oof. How about we shooting them? Yeah. Okay, uh, alright, um, I would really have to say that maybe the combat system needs a bit of tweaking. Uh, there's kind of a lag time when you swing, and as you can see, the, uh, the enemy as well has some kind of lag, uh, not, la not lag, but uh, there's a, a attack delay on the, on the characters. Uh, so yeah, that's not too great, but I'm pretty sure they could fix that. And we'll just explore Catharsis a little bit. And this is us running. As you can see on your bottom left side, we're losing green, which is stamina. And I'm um, just picking up whatever here. And um, it is to note that I have I have finished the game. Um, you will get about per se seven to ten seven to ten hours uh, of gameplay, which is um. Which is all right. I mean, it's um for me, uh, st price uh, standpoint of view. If I'm only going to be getting seven to ten hours of the gameplay, uh, I would kind of expect a bit more out of the game. But that being said, it is still in early access, and there's going to be a a lot that can be done with the game. There are lots of hot fixes that the developers have been putting into it. This is quite beautiful, I have to say. The, um, they really put some effort into uh, the environment that you are on the planet, that you are in Catharsis. And I'm just picking stuff up here. Now, you do have a. Cr you, you can craft, uh, but I really, really do not like the way that their crafting system is set up. Like AL2, Sunflower Autonomous, Lamp, Tripod, Surplus Solar Battery. Right, I, I mean, if you're really, really starting out in these kind of action RPG games, this does not really help you uh, 
it doesn't really help you out uh, at all this really needs to be revamped uh, into a better system like maybe a little tutorial because uh, I haven't come through any kind of tutorial um, as of yet the NPCs uh, in the game um, all are right I would have to say the voice acting is not uh, super amazing uh, but let's not forget I mean this is it's, it's not a um, we're not talking about a triple-A game here, it's from a small indie developer um, called Allersteam and it has been published by Grab the Games. Or you can go check out their websites and to get more information about them if you'd like, uh, but they're legit uh, publishers and developers, um, quite small, uh, but still um, they're out there, they're trying to make their mark, right? Let's try to beat these little shits again. See, I, see how the, the lag there, uh, the delay. I don't know if it's just me, but I just, I just can't, I, God, I can't stand that. And it seems to be really random when, when you're attacking. See, like I'm, I'm swinging on the damn thing, but it's not dying. Okay, how about I just pick it up? Yeah, it, you swing and the stuff doesn't die and whatnot. Um, that doesn't help out very much, uh, so I'm pretty sure they can fix that as well. Um, questing, again, it, it's not they're not very specific in questing. You just go pointing like a let's just go to a um, uh, quest mark here. here. So this is one of your first uh, guys that you meet, and sometimes there's kind of a bug where the, <laughs> the they'll follow you a lot. Uh, it is to note that you will uh, be thirsty, as you can see needs, food and calories, water, uh, you need to sleep as well. Uh, they'll tell you your combat, combat type, attack type, uh, physical damage, range damage. As you can see range is higher than, uh, melee is higher than range, which um, doesn't make too much sense to me. Uh, you would think that uh, range would be stronger. but. I guess it really depends on the gun, but a gun is stronger than a blade, um, all depending on uh, who you're talking to, right? So let's talk to this NPC. So, I mean, the um, the camera doesn't stop when when you're talking. So, I mean, the, you can really uh, improve on that point. So let's shoot some. So hey pal, where the hell have you been? Give me the password and take your damn package. So you you have your options on what you want to choose. I ran into some trouble. Yada yada yada. yada. Um, you know, let's see. You can tell them what you are or not. You can tell them the whole story or just like stop and whatnot. And yeah, you can just do this quest, which is an uh, an art You need to look at such like an elephant of the sorts. Uh, but then again, there's. Then again, there's no, there's nothing that really indicates, hey, you need to go here or you need to go this way. There's no mini map um, showing where you are. Like, I mean, there's, there's nothing in that regard. They really need to. Um, I, I'm really hoping they can implement that. Maybe in another, uh, not a hot fix, but an actual patch. Uh, and when that's done, then I, I think it would be that much more enjoyable. Uh, the game. I do believe also needs achievements. Uh, I'm very big on achievements, and I know that a lot of my viewers and or other people are really into achievements as well. Um, that would, in my opinion, really help out the game. Uh, it would make people play and obviously buy the game. Uh, current standpoint, current price point at the moment is $21.99. This is in my currency, Canadian currency, so I'm assuming that's about uh, 18 bucks. Um, US and all depending on what kind of currency you have from a country in the UK and whatnot uh, then just convert it from that so you X is to hide the interface and as you can see it doesn't tell you there's no map it doesn't tell you where to go so it's it's quite hard you're just gonna be moving around and I would have to say make sure that you save there is like these indicate um, these, these here tell you I should explore more places that's nice but even if you explore the places it doesn't really tell you where uh, anything is which I really don't like sorry I keep saying that but I'm, I'm a really big fan of mini maps 
and what and whatnot. Make sure you pick up those bugs so you can pick them up uh, alive or not. Uh, preferably alive because um, they can be used for quests uh, in the game. You'll meet some traders as well. So let's go see um, the traders in the first area. We're not gonna go over everything because um, there's not a, the game is it, it's missing a, quite a bit uh, of content. I'm pretty sure the developers can put much, much, much more uh, to the game. More questing, uh, more mob, more different kinds of mobs, uh, different kind of weaponry. Improve on the crafting, um, the crafting area because the, the, the crafting is it is really lacking. It it doesn't really uh, to me it doesn't make me want to to craft. I'll just pick up stuff and I'll just use whatever I find. So you have these kind of buffaloes, as you can see there. It's just passed through here. Uh, I would really have to say though, I, I love the environment. It's very well made. It's not super super polished, but um, you know, a little hot fix here and there, and bam, like you got yourself a really really awesome environment. It, it can be quite big or maybe daunting at times because you don't know where you're going and what you're doing. Um, you do know that you're coming into here and you're stealing everybody's stuff all the time. So you have these traders, you know, Vasily, and you have uh, Mas Masasi. You can actually take a stick. It doesn't say anything. You know, it's just like, I'll just take a look at you. Uh, you can skip time, so you can wait until morning. So if you do this, you know, it, it actually fasts forward like that. You can see everything moving in the background. I really like that. It's a, it's quite well implemented. Um, <laughs> it's kind of funny seeing the NPC like nod his head like that. The guy's not actually sleeping. There's no indication he's sleeping whatsoever, which is all right. Um, yeah. And then, if you want, you can just leave camp and just go on on your merry way. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I mean, combat is lackluster at the moment. Like I said, there's a delay in attacks. Uh, crafting really needs some love. Um, little bugs here and there, but in general, the for the game is giving you what it says at least. You know, developers haven't lied um, and said they're going to give you X and they give you A um, in that regards. Uh, price point, I do believe it, um, it's a bit expensive um, for a casual gamer. But if you're really into helping out developers and such as these guys, I, I do believe they, they deserve a shot in, make, in making this game uh, what it should be. It has a lot of potential. It just needs a lot of work and a lot of love. But yeah, so in that regards, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, let me know in the comments if you um, want to see something else in, in regards to the game. Um, like I said, I enjoyed it, but there are certain parts of it that I really didn't enjoy. Uh, but that's like any kind of game. There's some good and some bad. You have to take a stride. And don't forget, it's early access. I'm going to unretire, guys. And I'll see you in the next video.